let's see how much basic algebra and geometry you remember. Because if you took algebra and geometry, you definitely learned this. So the topic is the midpoint and precisely the midpoint formula. Now the question here is we want to locate the midpoint between the coordinates 1, 4 and 3, 6. Now feel free to use a calculator and if you think you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you exactly what the midpoint is and the midpoint formula. This is not that difficult and it's very easy actually to calculate the midpoint given two coordinates. But before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below and if this video helps you out or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time, we have two points here, x, y ordered pairs. One is 1, 4, the other is 3, 6, and we're trying to find the midpoint between these two points. So the goal of this video is to make sure that you understand what the midpoint is and what the midpoint formula is and how to use it. So what is the midpoint? Well, the midpoint is the midway point between two points on the xy plane or two xy ordered pairs. So uh, I think this will make a lot more sense if we see this visually. So here is the point uh, or ordered pair one, four. We can kind of uh, point to it right there. And here we have three, six. So visually, we have a point here and a point here. Now the midpoint is what? What do you think the midpoint is? is well it's the midway point between these two points here so it would be a point located right about there okay so we're looking for a specific x y ordered pair that is midway between these two points right here so if you understand this concept visually well then actually calculating it is pretty easy now before i show you the midpoint formula and how to use it there's another formula out there that you have to be careful uh, to not confuse with the midpoint formula, and that is the distance formula. Now, the distance formula calculates the distance between two points. Now, that formula is a little bit more involved than the midpoint formula, but typically, when you study the midpoint formula, you also learn the distance formula, and a lot of students tend to confuse these two formulas. Okay, so once again, the midpoint is simply the point that is halfway or midway between two xy points on the xy plane. So let's take a look at the formula and how to use it. So here is the midpoint formula. Now, a lot of things in algebra look scarier than they actually are. So if you're looking at this formula and you're very confused, well, you're definitely not alone, but this is actually very easy. So let me uh, kind of explain what's going on here. So what we have is two points, okay? So I'll explain the formula in just one second. But remember, we're trying to find the midpoint between two points on the xy plane. So if I had a coordinate like 2, 5, and I want to kind of plot this point on the xy axis, or the xy plane rather, the 2 is the x and the 5 is the y, right? So this is an xy ordered pair or coordinate. So x1, now this right here, this subscript is just kind of fancy notation that we use in algebra. So this is x1 and y1, and this is x2 and y2. Basically, this is one point and this is another point, but don't let this confuse you. So the formula here states the following. If you wanna find the midpoint between two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, all we need to do is simply average the x's and the y's, right? So that's what this fancy formula is saying. So to find the x coordinate of the midpoint, what we need to do is average the x's. So how do we average two things? Well, what we do is add them together and divide by two. So to find the x coordinate of the midpoint, we're going to average the x's and then of course to find the y coordinate of the midpoint, we're going to average the y's. So this is actually very easy. I know the formula looks much more complicated 
than it actually is. But again, you don't want to confuse this with the distance formula. Okay, so again, this is the midpoint formula. Now, if you think you know how to apply this in our problem, matter of fact, let's go back up here. So our coordinates are one, four, and three, six. So to find the midpoint, all we have to do is literally average the uh, coordinates here, right? So to find the x value, we're gonna average the x coordinates and to find the y value of the midpoint, we're going to average the y coordinates. Now, before I finish this problem, take a quick second and consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. And the whole reason I want my channel to grow on YouTube is so I can reach as many people as possible and help them in mathematics. I look at every person that uh, has subscribed. Now, by the way, if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. But if you do subscribe to my channel, I consider all of you like students of mine. So I really try to be conscientious and post high quality math content. And my channel covers everything from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. Now, if you need math support, if you really need to learn mathematics, you definitely have to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And if you are going to subscribe, make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you can get alerts when I post a new video. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. All right, so now that we understand the problem visually, we can actually calculate the midpoint using the midpoint formula. Now, again, the midpoint is a specific X, Y ordered pair, right? It is an actual point that is midway between these two points. And the X value of the midpoint is going to be the average of the X's, one and three. And the Y value of the midpoint is going to be the average of the Y's, which are four and six. So let's go ahead and apply the midpoint formula and do this uh, simple math. This is not that difficult. So here it is to find the X coordinate of the midpoint, we're going to average the X's. So that's one and three. So one plus three divided by two is what? Well, one plus three is four, four divided by two is two. So the X coordinate of the midpoint is two. All right, so moving on to the Y coordinate, we're gonna average the Y's. So that's gonna be four and six. So four plus six is what? Well, that's 10, 10 divided by two is five. So this is the Y uh, coordinate of the midpoint. So our final answer is two, five. So let's go back to our graph here and see if this makes sense. So here is the original uh, problem. We had one, four, and three, six, and we were looking for the point that is midway between these two points. So does this answer make sense? Well, if this is one, four, uh, by the way, I'm assuming that you know how to plot a point on the x, y uh, order, or the x, y plane, rather. So remember, we are dealing with x, y order pairs. So the way we graph um, a point is we go to our x's first on the uh, x axis. So here, that would be one and then we go up four on the Y. So we have one, two, three, four. Now this is just kind of a rough plot, but hopefully you kind of get the idea. So three, six would be what? Well, we have to go three on the X axis. So here's one, two, three, and then we have to go up six. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, of course, I don't have graphing paper, but hopefully you kind of get the idea. Okay, so we have one, four, and three, six. So is two, five a logical answer for the midpoint? So let's just kind of go to our graph. So one, two, here's two, and then one, two, three, four, five would be right about here. So two, five looks pretty good. Okay, so once again, you definitely have to understand the midpoint and the distance formula. Now the distance formula finds the distance between two points, and this formula is much more involved. It's not overly complex, but it's something that we need to spend a little bit more time on. But this is stuff that you learn in basic algebra and geometry. Now, if you need help with algebra, geometry, or maybe you wanna kinda of relearn basic math, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to all of those in the description of this video. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.